Well, we begin this Friday afternoon with the urgent need to make our state schools safer. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Glenda Lewis and I'm Brian Abel lawmakers in Lansing working with police and mental health experts to tackle the issue today. A task force releasing its preliminary report. Some of the recommendations include third party security, updating active shooter drills and camera upgrades. The report comes just months after the deadly shooting at Oxford High School took the lives of four students. The committee hoping its recommendations will prevent another tragedy from happening. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette in Oxford with reaction from parents. Lockdown kits and independent threat assessments are just two of the measures state lawmakers are proposing to make schools safer in Michigan. And those steps are already getting the attention of parents here in Oxford. As a parent of an Oxford school student, Jennifer Prather is keeping close watch over recommended actions for schools to improve safety. And in the wake of the deadly Oxford High School shooting tragedy, she believes politics must be put aside to protect students and staff. What are your thoughts on having third parties come into schools in Michigan and do assessments of threats? Yeah, I think third parties are an excellent idea. They should do it for the entire state and get everybody on the same page. Don't have it be a patchwork of recommendations, something different for the UP and than it is downstate or whatnot. This preliminary document obtained by 7 Action News highlights numerous initiatives under review by a bipartisan state house committee consulting with law enforcement and the community. Proposed steps include more funding for health centers, camera upgrades, including OK to say info on student ID cards, updating active shooter drills, school floor plan maps, and better statewide info sharing. Some really innovative things happening with mapping to make sure that when law enforcement um, are, are alerted of a active shooter, that that response is, uh, is efficient. Bills already drafted include measures for ongoing training for staff members and resource officers and the creation of more mental health services. Steps lawmakers say they are pursuing with more urgency than ever. We've taken every idea, put it into one of these buckets, and we are working our way through them. Ideally, how soon do you see some of these proposals actually being implemented? I see some of these things getting through in the next budget. For Jennifer, there's a sense of frustration after prior proposed changes dating back years were never implemented. She hopes now is the time when all stakeholders can come together and address this issue of safe gun storage. I really would have liked to see a secure storage measure, something that would be handed out to the parents. The school safety committee has been meeting consistently a couple times a week for the past several months. They tell us more meetings need to take place before a final report is drafted. From Oxford, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. And anyone can submit a tip about a potential threat at a Michigan school through OK to Say. You can download the app or go to michigan.gov slash OK to Say.